Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about Prisma 3D version 3.1 and clear up some of the misconceptions surrounding the new update. When version 3.0 was first released, it came with quite a few problems. From modeling and rigging to animation and rendering, a lot of things didn't work as expected. Many users were disappointed and chose to stick with the older version. The new interface and added features made Prisma 3D feel overly complicated at the time. Fortunately, the developers stayed active, releasing frequent updates to address the issues and improve the user experience. In my opinion, the main problem with version 3.0 was that the developers essentially rebuilt the app from the ground up. I'm not an app developer, but it really seemed like they created an entirely new version, leaving behind the familiar layout and workflow of the old one. They even released a separate app called Prisma 3D Legacy for users who preferred the older version. Now, with version 3.1, things have improved significantly. Some of the standout new features include the addition of an audio system and a physics engine. There are also new modeling tools like Detach Face and Pivot, which make modeling much easier and more efficient. The animation system has been revamped. It's really impressive, and I'm still exploring everything it can do. Lighting has also seen improvements including a skylight option for better ambient effects. The rendering system has been upgraded too, and you can now render in 2K resolution. Plus, Prisma 3D now supports exporting models and animations in the GLTF format. All of these enhancements have come together nicely in the 3.1 update, which has fixed many of the issues introduced in 3.0. I can confidently say that Prisma 3D is now much better and more stable. I've already made a few tutorial videos and plan to make more to help you understand and make the most of the app's amazing features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.